Hi, my name is Dr. Bob Akizi today. I'm a, a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, California. And many of my patients come in and ask me, how can I maintain my aesthetic outcome after I've had a facelift or blepharoplasty, eye lift, brow lift? And it really comes back to the basics of facial rejuvenation. And what we want to achieve, again, when we have individuals coming in who are seeking to have aesthetic enhancements or want to feel better about themselves. Just the aging process has affected their psyche a little bit or they feel great on the inside but the outside doesn't feel the same. We want to talk about really making sure that we have a programs in place for them that preserves, restores their youthfulness. And whether you've had a facelift or not, it is really, really important to maintain a few things. Number one, first and foremost, is the skin. Because one's skin is so important. It's like having a very, very beautiful high-grade diamond, but not cleaning and polishing it. It's the same thing. The skin needs to be healthy and youthful, shiny, luster, without a lot of age spots and so forth. So we want to make sure that the skincare regimen system is appropriate and it's actually one of the least expensive things you could do for yourself to maintain your youthfulness. Make sure you use appropriate sunscreen because that's extremely important. And really think about the two other big things with your skin, which are peels and lasers. Now peels and lasers work differently, but they really work almost in conjunction with one another to achieve an amazing outcome. So. That's kind of what we want to do, and everybody's treated differently. Everyone needs to have a customized regimen. No two skin cares are the same, and no two individuals are the same. So we want to make sure that everything's customized appropriately with the appropriate skin care, peels, and lasers. Then, the maintenance doesn't stop there. The aging process continues after you've had a facelift or a neck lift or blepharoplasty. And the main thing that continues to happen is a change in one's facial shape, shifts in fat compartments. These are two big things that aren't really talked about, but they're really actually very, very important. And that's where the roles of fillers and neuromodulators such as Botox and Dysport come into place for us to again maintain and preserve the great work that's been done with your facelift, neck lift, and blepharoplasty. And these fillers help us reshape the face. And again, we, it's not so much as filling in lines as was in the past. It's really reshaping the face. And we have multiple different wonderful fillers that work differently in different areas and in different hands. And then using, again, the Botox and Dysport to kind of take care of some of the lines that are caused by muscle contraction, such as the lines in between the eyebrows and the crow's feet. So as a result, we have so many tools now to help maintain and preserve. And then finally, we now have newer non-invasive techniques, such as the Althera device. And for some of my facelift patients, I'm like, use Althera every couple of years to maintain and preserve your tight skin that we've created with our face and neck lift. Thank you very much.